Uh, your three o'clock efficiency meeting is here. And uh, this one's kind of a psycho. HR told me he has a history of abuse and violence. Send him in. Oh, and have security on standby. Michael, have a seat. Call me Mikey. Everyone does. Mikey. Okay. Well, Mikey, um, you've no doubt noticed some changes around here. The uh, higher-ups have felt the need to innovate a restructuring plan to uh, foster more profit-producing assets. And, uh, look, um, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to let you go. I completely understand. Thanks for your time. I don't think you do understand. You're fired. Yes. As in you no longer work here. Your employment at this company has been terminated. I got the axe. Whoa, there's no need for bloodshed. Look, you can't show up here on Monday because they won't let you in the building. Because you don't have your badge, because you don't have a job. A and the likelihood of you finding another one in this economy? Slim. Paper thin. I'm totally underqualified for this position anyway. To be completely frank, I'm surprised you didn't let me go sooner. A uh, uh, what? So you'd have had more time to go home to your wife and kids and tell them that Christmas is going to be a little different this year because Daddy doesn't have a job anymore. But your kids are wondering who Daddy is anyway because you spent all your time devoted to your work and once they've taken away your family, now they've taken away your job too. So now you're just this fucking bum wandering around the halls of your sad little house while Mommy has to explain to the kids why you're crying all the time and why your tears taste like vodka! I'm single, though I am kind of seeing this really sweet blind girl. Save the sob stories. There's nothing you can do to save your position. This meeting is over. Charlene, get security in here now. Oh, I don't need help packing my stuff up. I just have this pen. It's probably why I'm so bad at my job. Um. H.W. Lamb.